I mean, today's the first day of the brew. First, first brew, day, kind yeah. of kick, kicking the tires, taking it out yeah. for a spin, seeing how uh, things work. And today we're brewing kind of a collaboration with Trogues and Fatheads called yeah. Fat Scratch Fever. Why not? Fat Scratch Fever. Yeah. Why not? A little tribute to Sweaty Teddy. <laughs> so it basically was the Headhunter base recipe, yeah. award-winning Headhunter. We yeah. used some of the uh, the malt that Matt brought in today. Right. And a little bit of variation on the hops. A little hops. variation on the hops. Um, Simcoe and Amaretto Grillo blends when we kind of focus on Simcoe Centennial. Columbus was the same. First mash hop today for uh, Trogues? First mash hop at Trogues. It's interesting. Right. Yes, we mash hop with some Simcoe today. And um, and then we, we blended uh, Simcoe Centennial, various kettle times, and then uh, hit it pretty hard uh, at the end of the boil with a little more Simcoe and a little less Centennial. So and right now we're pretty much at the knockout too, so we're at the tail right. end of it. But did, sure. did you notice any differences, I guess, throughout the, the mash through Lowry? Um, well, I mean, obviously there's some automation that's kind of cool, you know, throttling valves uh, manually and uh, the mixing valves and uh, and obviously the controls and things like that um, were pretty cool to work with. And, you know, obviously I have a feeling that the, the, the utilization of the hops in the kettle is going to be far better than what, what we're used to. So, um, you know, so we'll have, we'll have to see how the work comes out. And, so if anything, right now we're going to get a much hoppier, more aggressively hopped beer than what we anticipated. So I don't think anyone's going to a bad thing. That's right. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. So, and uh, it, it's just kind of fun to, to you know. It's funny, uh, five or six years ago when I was at this brewery for the first time, um, you know, I walked up on that platform and I, you know, I, I kind of got excited because it's it's nice equipment. And here we are, you know, five or six years later, and uh, and we're brewing beer together and we're going to. We're gonna pull it out of here and, and make it work again. Yep, soon to be yours. That's pretty cool. So end of the month will be the last brew here. This is one of the, the last ones coming out of the brewery and then yep. things yep. ship to Ohio and Yep. Yeah, we break around November first and um, yeah, it's uh, we hope to have the equipment out of here by first part of December and then and then, you know, a little after the first of the year we should be making them work as well as uh, you know, continually moving uh trucks beers in our pubs. So we have this, this one will probably be ready in about 14, 14 plus days. Yeah, that sounds right. That sounds good. I, I mean, I, it's, I think we're going to put it on dry hops a little bit mm -hmm. um, to kind of get the aroma up a little bit. And then, um, and then I, obviously, it's uh, going to be limited release. None of it go to bottles, correct? I don't think we're going to bottle any of it. Yeah. It's going to go all to uh, fat heads. <clears throat> we'll probably keep a keg or two for ourselves. Perfect. Yeah. And send it all your way. I can't wait. I think both both fat heads are going to be extremely excited about this beer. So, and I've been wanting to actually do Simcoe and Amarillo combinations for some time. Um, there's a couple beers on the San Diego area that I'm quite fond of. One's Ballast Point Sculpin, the other one's Alpine Duet. They use combinations of Amarillo and um, Simcoe with, with uh, that they would work very nice together. So I'm excited. I haven't contracted for Simcoe so, or Amarillo, so I'm excited to see how this uh, how this works out. It should be cool. Awesome. Our first brew house has really treated us well over the years. We're uh, very excited to have uh, Matt take it to Ohio and uh, are really looking forward to going to uh, visit the brew house and hopefully he'll let us brew on it in the future. Good luck, Matt. Treat, uh, treat our brew house well.